What's up guys? Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Beautiful Mistakes by Maroon 5 and Megan the Stallion. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below what the songs by Maroon 5 or Megan the Stallion that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Beautiful Mistakes on guitar is that in order to get into some bar chords and keep this song as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to third fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know for Beautiful Mistakes is the structure of this song. We're going to start with a verse then go to chorus, then we'll have another verse and another chorus, then we'll have a bridge, and we're gonna finish up the song with one last chorus. And finally guys, the last thing that you wanna know before we dive into Beautiful Mistakes is the five chords that you need to play this song. The first one is C, the next one is G, the next one is A minor, the next one is E minor, and the last one is D. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Beautiful Mistakes. Guys, I haven't done a Maroon 5 song in quite a while. I've gotten a ton of requests for this song already, even though it's only been out for like, I think a week and a half or something now. So I'm really stoked to share this one with you guys, because it's a really good one. I love teaching Maroon 5 on this channel. If you've seen my two most popular tutorials, both of them are Maroon 5 songs. If you haven't seen that yet, they'll be linked in the cards of this video. So with that in mind, guys, the first thing that makes this song a really great song for beginners to learn is because it's actually actually the same exact chord progression repeated through the whole entire song. The only thing that's going to change up a little bit is what we're doing for our strum pattern depending on where you're at in the song. So the first thing we hear in the song is a verse. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is what we're playing for all of our verses and for our bridge. For our verses and our bridge, and actually our choruses as well, our chord progression is going to be C, G, A minor, and E minor. And then we'll go to that second line and we're gonna have C, G, and D. I notice there's some weird stuff next to that D. We'll get there in just a second. So if you're familiar with the song, you might already be able to tell, but for the verses and the bridge, we're just gonna use a single down strum for each chord. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but the timing of it is a little interesting. So we're gonna walk through this chord by chord. We'll start with our C chord. We're gonna go down and then pretty quickly to G. We'll let that G hang out just a little longer. And then we'll go to the A minor, down, and then pretty quickly to the E minor, and let that ring out just a little longer. And then onto that second line, we'll go C, and then quickly to G, and let that ring out a little longer. And then we get to that last D chord. That last D chord is a little bit funky and a little bit weird. There's a couple different ways that you can play this, but I'm gonna show you the way that I play it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a regular D chord, but we're gonna get this pinky kind of hovering over the third fret of the high E because we're gonna do some hammer-ons and some pull-offs here that'll match up really well with the song. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna give that big that D a big single down strum. So we're gonna go. But whenever we give that D that down strum, we're gonna take this pinky finger here and put it on third fret. We're gonna hammer it onto third fret of the high E and then pull it back off to second fret of the high E, which is already on there because of our D chord. And we're gonna do that three times. It's gonna look about like this. We're gonna go kind of like that. I kind of tried to accentuate it just a little bit so you guys could hear it and see it just a little better because it is a little bit subtle, but it's gonna look like this. Just about like that. And it's gonna give that kind of high pitched na, 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 sound that you hear in the background when it hits that D chord in the actual song. This will be a little bit more apparent in the chorus whenever we get there because it's a little bit more forward in the song. But in the verses, it's kind of a little subtle detail. And that's pretty much it. That's just gonna repeat through all of our verses and our bridge. And then again, we're gonna have that same chord progression for our choruses, but we will have a different strum pattern for our choruses. So we'll get there in just a minute. So one last little walkthrough of all of that together. We'll start with the C chord. We'll goes C, G, A minor, E minor, C, G, D. Just about like that. And again, I kind of accentuated that little second to third fret hammer on pull off situation inside of that D chord, just to show you guys a little better what it looks like, but it is a little bit more subtle when you actually play it. So you don't necessarily have to accentuate it quite so much. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple of times to that chord progression strum pattern, it's gonna repeat through all the verses and the bridge on Beautiful Mistakes will look about like this without me talking.
And from there, guys, the only other thing that you need to know to play beautiful mistakes on guitar is what we're playing for our choruses. Again, for our choruses, we're going to have the same exact chord progression that we just had for our verses and our bridge, which is going to be C, G, A minor, E minor, and then second line, C, G, and then D again with that same weird thing at the end, but a little slight twist. Again, we'll get there in just a second. So. First thing you'll notice about this is next to our chord progression and certain chords in that progression, there's gonna be stars next to certain chords. That's because we're gonna have a different strum pattern for the non-starred chords and a different strum pattern for the starred chords. That sounds complicated, but I promise it's not as difficult as it seems. Let's break this down chord by chord. The first chord we have is that C chord, which is a non-starred chord. For all of our non-starred chords, we're gonna have three down strums. So, one, two, three, just like that, and switch. So after we leave that C chord, we're gonna be onto our G chord, which is our first starred chord. For all of our starred chords, we're gonna have five, I can't do five because I'm holding my pick, five. We're gonna have five down strums for each chord. So one, two, three, four, five. Just about like that, and then onto the next chord. From there, onto that A minor, non-starred chord, we've got one, two, three, E minor, starred chord, one, two, three, four, five. Next line, C, non-starred, one, two, three, G starred, one, two, three, four, five. And then for D, we're gonna have this weird exception here because this D chord is weird in this song. We're gonna go to that D chord. We're actually gonna do the same thing that we did for that kind of little hammer on situation there. But instead of doing that, we're gonna do just a hammer on from second to third on the high E while we strum that full D chord, so. And we're gonna do that four times, we're gonna go just about like that. So rather than just playing that little, we're gonna actually strum it out four times. Just about like that. So nothing too crazy complicated here. A lot of it is basically the same kind of thing that we're doing in the verse. We're just adding those other down strums in there instead of playing that single down strum. So again, same thing here guys, let's walk through this chord by chord. Start with our C chord. We're gonna go one, two, three, G. One, two, three, four, five, A minor. One, two, three, E minor. One, two, three, four, five. Second line, C. One, two, three, G. One, two, three, four, five, D. Down, 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 down. With that little hammer on down there at the second to third fret on the high E. Nothing too crazy here, nothing too complicated for beginners. All of these chords are beginner friendly. Even that little weird hammer on thing we're doing there at the bottom with the D chord is something that beginners can get down no problem. So, like I said guys, pretty straightforward song. Pretty groovy that it's the same chord progression the whole way through, but it adds some variation in there by changing up the strum patterns between the verses, the bridge, and the chorus. So, with all that in mind guys, a couple of times through the chorus, chord progression, and strum patterns will look about like this without me talking. Hey guys, that is everything that you need to know to play beautiful mistakes on guitar. And as always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 850 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. And I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to get a sneak peek to what songs I'm teaching next, you can hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. And lastly, guys, if you want to support the channel and get your name in the credits at the end of each new guitar tutorial, you can hit up my Patreon at patreon.com slash the groovy guitar dude. Link for that will be in the description below as well. Guys, you know we love a good new Maroon 5 song on this channel. Like I said, two of my biggest tutorials I've ever taught on this channel are both Maroon 5 songs. It's Girls Like You and Memories. 
and both of those were a lot of fun to play and this song is no exception this song is super fun to play as well and like I said it's very beginner friendly because we do repeat that same chord progression through the whole entire song it is a pretty beginner friendly chord progression here too no bar chords or anything crazy there and that's really about it all we do is change our strum patterns up a couple of times and again the strum patterns are very beginner friendly as well really really groovy song I got a ton of requests for this one so I was stoked to get into it even when I heard it for the first time whenever it very first came out a couple weeks ago I think like a week or two ago I was really stoked to teach this one as well because I just knew a lot of people would want to learn this one it's a beautiful guitar song very cool but anyways guys I had a lot of fun learning the song I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well and I hope you have a wonderful day I'll see y'all soon